The elite operators of the U.S. Special Operations community are tasked with only the most difficult and dangerous missions. The subject featured in the following interview operated within this community and acted as a consultant on the development of Medal of Honor. Their identity has been concealed for security purposes. When I was in high school, I was at some English class or something getting in trouble in the library. The teacher made me go get a book. I found uh, a book about the frogmen of the Navy that looked like about the coolest thing that you could do. After that, I was pretty much hooked. In the middle of a firefight, you are so washed with adrenaline, so busy thinking about what you gotta be doing, you can't feel anything. The truth of the matter, at least for me, is you're too busy to be scared. I would say the way that you learn to control the adrenaline is just through sheer training. You will do something in training a million times so that on the day, you're doing it automatically. There's several times a month where we would jump starting at midnight. You'd jump like four times at night, four times in the day. You've done more in that, in that not even a full day yet than most people will ever dream about doing their whole life. And to you, that was nothing. It just becomes, what, doesn't everybody do this? No matter how crazy the situation is, no matter how bad things are going, it doesn't really affect you. It doesn't really fluster you. You still are mentally free. You still got enough hard disk space up here to solve the problem. You know you can do stuff that nobody else can do. And to you, it's just business as usual. <laughs> 